Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord Dan. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do the awesome infinite repel glitch on Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now I've been using this glitch for quite some time and this isn't just an infinite repel glitch. There's actually much more to this glitch. Hey, what's up Kings? <laughs> uh, but basically, you can actually skip any trainer that you haven't yet battled. Uh, so let's think about the new gym, the sixth gym. I actually didn't battle anyone in that gym except for the gym leader. I walked past everybody without them like locking onto me, coming over and battling me. So this glitch is going to be very handy, very, very handy when the seventh gym and maybe even the Elite Four uh, come out in this game. Uh, so, okay, so here we are getting straight into the guides. We're going to click menu and go over to Pokemon Fly and make sure that we are in a radius city. This is the fifth gym area Now once we're in this area What we're gonna do is just come this way from the poker center and you will see this huge like kind of lump of barrels right here And you can actually climb up them if you walk very slowly at them now I must say that if you are on the PC uh, this will work, but if you're on mobile, I'm not a hundred percent sure I've had some reports that these barrels don't actually show up sometimes for some people on mobile uh, But if the barrels are here right underneath this bridge What you want to do guys is get right in the corner walk at it and keep on doing it So keep on walking up these barrels until eventually you will bop up just like this on top of this little uh, kind of extra part and I just fell. It's okay though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I can do it. I'm the glitch lord. I am glitch lord. Hear me glitch. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're up now and um, what we're gonna do is very slowly just walk up this little area right here and now technically we are kind of out of the map. Now unfortunately we cannot just walk that way and get on top of there. We actually need to go round. So what we're gonna do is look at this little area right here, run at it, and then eventually you will bop up. Now once you've done that, come to this little crack here and just kind of wobble through. Left, right, left, right, kind of get through there. And uh, there you go, we're through the uh, little area now. And uh, now what we must do is type rope walk. So here I am, I'm doing pretty good, that looks painful. God, his gonads. Uh, but we've made it across uh, this little ropey area. Now we're going to follow exactly where I go. I'm probably going to speed this part of the video up for you guys, just so you don't have to wait. Um, but now we have to get through this little gap here once again. And, uh, okay, where, where, where are you going? There you go. And just kind of edge through. It does take a little bit of time sometimes. There you go, we got through. And uh, now we're going to go through this way. And simply what we must do is jump down. That is, that is it. We must jump down. And that is literally all we need to do. Now what we need to do is wait until we spawn into the loading area. Uh, I will explain what that is in just a second. Um, okay, so this was... Yeah, there you go. I'm now in the loading area. Now, uh, what this is, is that uh, this little ball here represents uh, the area in which you spawn. So if you look at these little black things over there, all of those people are actually either in a spawning area or they're just in the game. Uh, but this is where you go as you're spawning into the game. So this guy right here, I'm assuming it's JD in Forevs. Uh, he's loading in right now because he that, that I can see he's loading in basically. Uh, so yeah, this is where he loads and then he spawns into the map. Uh, but anyway... Getting on to the glitch again, what we must do, now do is go to menu, Pokemon, fly, and then go to uh, a radius city once again. So here we are, just pop on through. My Charizard will take me, and as you saw, my, my person actually spawned back there because he was loading in. Uh, now we're in the Radius City, we have done the glitch. That is it. And uh, I'm going to show you guys right now that I will not encounter any Pokemon whatsoever uh, whilst I'm running through the repet, like, you know, the, the area. Uh, now, you guys have obviously seen that I haven't really edited out any parts of this video. I have only edited it. Uh, and you know I haven't used any repel or anything. Um, so, yeah, let's let's go and check. It has worked. I haven't activated the repel. And uh, the awesome thing is, let's say that you haven't already fought this trainer right here. Let's say that you've never battled her before. Um, okay, so that just proved me wrong. I did come into an encounter with a Dweeble. But that is only when you are, um, when you're actually rock breaking things. Uh, but watch, watch. Okay, so you can see that I encountered the rock breaking thing. But if I run around in here, uh, 
there you go. No Pokemon whatsoever. Uh, and we can run to another patch of grass, we can run everywhere, we can run past trainers that we haven't yet fought, and uh, we still won't need to battle them. We really won't. And uh, this lasts until you leave the game. Uh, so that's a real neat kind of thing too. Uh, so as you can see, uh, nothing there. It, it, absolutely no encounters whatsoever. Uh, now you guys might be thinking, well, he's just got lucky. I'll go into a, a, a bigger piece of grass, I guess. And um, I'm still in the, in, in the kind of uh, midst of kind of working with this glitch. I feel like there's more to it than just being invisible to the AI and um, not having any encounters. Uh, so hopefully I can work on this before the seventh gym comes out, and when it does, uh, I hopefully will have another glitch to show you guys. But there you go. There is no chance that I could not have uh, already had like the repel thing pop up or encounter the Pokemon right now, guys. Uh, so that is pretty much it. It's a really awesome glitch. I know that a lot of you guys will be uh, very happy uh, to actually like kind of uh, do this glitch. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you one more thing. One more thing. Uh, like I said, I went through all of the 6th gym without battling anybody. Now, um, if I actually go to the 6th gym right now, uh, you know that you cannot re-battle anyone in the 6th gym. You can't do it. It's just, it's not allowed. You can't do it. Um, I'm going to walk past somebody and uh, I'm going to show you that they're not going to try and battle me or anything like that. And then I will walk over to them and I will actually start to battle myself. Uh, so let's see this guy right here. Okay, so when I did this glitch, I walked past everybody. Oh, crap, I fell. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I walked past everybody, and that was as simple as it is. Uh, so as you can see, he didn't want to battle me, but now I'm going to battle him. Uh, I get to choose who I want to battle. Uh, so there you go, nothing there. And uh, if I just uh, do that... Uh, you want to battle it for a deal? There you go. See, I can battle whoever I want, whenever I want. Uh, it's a very awesome glitch. Oh, that's a cool monkey. Uh, anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please remember to leave a like. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see you.